Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here and welcome to another Harvestella guide. In this video, we'll be finding all of the rare fish in the game. After completing chapters 3A and 3B, you'll unlock the waterside biome in Bird's Eye Bray and get access to the Sahagin at the very top of the hill. He will teach you how to catch rare fish, then ask you to bring him those same fish in exchange for big money and recipes. So I'll just be telling you where to find them. Two things real quick. One, if you'd like to find them without a guide, you can ask the Sahagin for hints. He'll give you every hint regardless of whether or not you already have the corresponding fish though, so it may take you a bit to figure out. Also, spoiler warning, if you haven't progressed to the end of the game yet, some late game areas are required to get all of the rare fish, so figured you deserve that warning. First, let's start in Bird's Eye Bray, where you can actually catch two different rare fish. First is Aurelian. The hint for this fish claims that it can only be caught after catching enough of another type of fish. Just so happens, it's referring to the Argentian fish, which is basically a silver version to the Aurelian gold version. Anywhere you can catch Argentians, you can also catch Aurelian once you have this fishing knowledge. This includes the nearby Jade Forest, but you might as well catch it here. Our second rare fish is Monotymon. The hint for this fish simply states it can be caught on the hill, bird's eye bray. So for this one, you're just gonna need to fish, fish, fish until it pops up. Took me a few days to get this one, actually. Moving on to Leith Village, we have the giant salamander rare fish. This hint claims it can only be caught in the fall, so make sure you get this done during autumn in the first year, or you're gonna be waiting a long time to catch it in the second year. Once the time of year is right, just fish in Leith Village until you catch it. It's worth mentioning that for areas with multiple fishing locations like Leith Village, there is no functional difference between them. You can catch the rare fish at any of the fishing points in the zone, or you could be superstitious like me and just change it every few catches because you just think it's helping for some reason. Next is the nearby Higgin Canyon. The fish here is the Jejun Trout. This hint claims the fish can only be caught the day after it rains. So once that condition is met, head to the canyon and fish away. I actually recommend save scumming this one and one other fish simultaneously, but I'll talk about that a bit later. Now we head over to Nemea for the Twilight Cherry Salmon. The hint for this one claims it only comes out at night. So be sure to fish in Nemea between 7 p.m. and whenever passing the heck out is. This still took me a couple of nights since I didn't have as much time to fish, so you could save scum it or just come back to Nemea for a couple of nights until you get it. Then we're gonna drop down to Shatola for the Siren's Servant. This fish only comes out in the rain, so as soon as you see it's raining in the morning, quickly shoot over to Shatola. I recommend saving as soon as you see the rain and resetting your game if you don't catch it on the day. It's just better to have control of your time and the weather instead of just waiting for the next raining day to come around. Once you catch this fish, that's when I recommend going to the next day and then save scumming to get the fish in Higgin Canyon. That way you can knock them both out in two days back to back. Our next fish is in the icy pond in Arjean, the Ice Fairy. This one's literally just fish. It's always there, so just go get it. Now our last two fish are in super spoilery locations, so this is one last warning if you haven't been to the late game or seen some of those areas yet. And that's it, uh, moving on now. Our second to last rare fish is the Rainbow Harp. The hint for this simply claims it's from a sea in a faraway land, and that faraway land is none other than Panthalassa Junction on Lost Gaia. You'll mostly catch Firefly Squid here and the occasional Peculiar Barracuda, but keep on trying until you get the Rainbow Harp. And we finally come to the last fish, the Cardinal Goldfish. This one can be found anywhere you can fish in Caranoid, along with the hint, it's a bizarre fish from a bizarre cave. This dungeon is usually only able to be entered during Quietus from the well in Bird's Eye Bray. When you finish the story, you'll be able to enter Caranoid whenever you want, but if you want to finish this prior to beating the game, then you're probably going to want to save scum that Quietus day until you get the goldfish. And you can fish anywhere in there, so I just use that first initial pond. And that's it for the rare fish in Harvestella. If you're looking simply to complete your encyclopedia, please remember that you will need a normal quality and a high quality fish of each kind. That means the common fish and the rare fish. So there's a good chance you're gonna wanna catch two of each at least to make sure that you cover one in each category. But with that, 
that's going to be a wrap for this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned. I'm going to post a few more Harvestella guides as I love the game and I just wanted to make some resources for it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.